Now, many aspects have been considered for Vietnam's hosting of the second Kim Trump summit, including the country's historical significance. The Trump administration believes Hanoi's history of being a U.S. adversary, which has transitioned into Washington's close partner, can be a great lesson for the North Korean regime. Kim yo sun explains. The decision to hold the second summit between Pyongyang and Washington in Vietnam is largely due to matters of convenience and security. It took into account the travel time for North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, as well as U.S. President Donald Trump's schedule for a summit with Chinese President Xi Jinping. Beyond this, there is also a historical context. Vietnam's history as a U.S. adversary has transitioned into a close partnership after the two countries established diplomatic ties in 1995. This followed Vietnam's Doi Moi program, Hanoi's drive for broad economic liberalization in the 1980s. The Trump administration hopes this can be a good source of inspiration and reflection for the North. Referring to the Vietnamese model, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has also said it could be a miracle if Kim Jong-un follows the road taken by Vietnam. Meanwhile, Pyongyang also considers the Vietnamese model as the most viable option for the regime to carry out economic development while retaining its current structure. That is also why the North's foreign minister, Lee Yong ho has visited Hanoi to learn from the country's economic reforms. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.